Hello, welcome to our home on wheels. Come on in. So here is Fable. It's been a long time since we've done an update. Okay, let's shut the door before Everly walks out of the freaking Take paper. 22. <laughs> so here is Fable. Still have a lot of work to do, but I think we've done a lot from the time span. What, when did we get the camper? Beginning of? August. August. So, we've done all Everly. She's already making a mess. <laughs> so here is the guest area. Um, we still need a bed for it. We've just been take bringing our guest bed in here when we need to use it. But obviously, we have to bring that back in our house. So when we're not using it, it's just like this. But it's a really big area, and eventually, eventually, we might turn it into more of bunks, maybe for kids. But that's what it was previously. Don't forget to tell that. Wow. Right, that's what it was previously. But we would leave it bigger like this because the bunks were a lot smaller. So we'd probably leave this one big and then maybe add a bump. Oh goodness! Sake. Flip over Daddy's foot. Okay. This is like one of my favorite parts. I don't know why I love this touch, but it's just this wide, like beam board right here it's stained it just looks so pretty i love this color that we stained it what was it american something mm, I Con? I think. but over here i just put a few baskets up i like to have things that are more lighter in the camper when it comes to decor because you just don't want anything super heavy and then this basket down here i really already got in it but i keep blankets in here for when we sit around the fire and stuff oh and have you found a little Pipe thing. Uh, um, it's not pipe, so it's a freaking from the wallpaper. Yeah. And then over here by the front door, I just have this home sign. I found this from Target. And then these, these are actually peel and stick hooks, and I got these off Amazon. And this little bag, um, which is something that I had in the house that was left over from something I bought, and I just put it in here to keep things. We can also put our keys on here, so that's really convenient. Um, I really love how everything turned out. Um, not gonna lie, this wall, if you're not, if you want to get these walls, I would say yeah. go for it, but they definitely, you would want to paint them because they do, like, rip really easily. Like, this, this comes off. You can, like, see marks all over the camper, so I'm gonna be honest, and we're eventually gonna want to paint it, but it, you can't really tell. It looks fine, hey. but I just want to be real. This area is what's going to be our like dining area. Everly, you are making a ginormica mess. Ginormica. This area is what's going to be our dining area and then also we're going to have a pull out fridge. Um, TJ's going to like design it and everything but we'll have like the fridge over here and then some like chairs over here so that'll be super cool once we get it done. But right now we just he just built this little like because the furnace is underneath it. Yeah, Mama, the furnace is Mama, underneath it. Mama. Oh, we can't open it. And we just have like storage and stuff Mama. under there for now. Um, I guess we can go over to the kitchen. So this is our kitchen. Still needs a lot. We don't even have like an actual kitchen yet, but TJ just built this for the time being because it's hiding like wires and stuff. Not wires, tubes. Tubes and like stuff. Like the sink drain and the water spigot lines that run to the sink. Yeah. yeah, so he just pretty much got some scraps Mama. left over and just Mama. whipped it together. My handyman. Here, play with this. Special. Well, right now I like to keep like my coffee maker. This is a very standard one. We keep a skillet, some coffee mugs, <coughs> basic utensils, and then I have a few little knickknacks here. These, well this one I thrifted, and this one I got from TJ Maxx, and then also this Inspire one I got from TJ Maxx. Um, but this right here, the wallpaper, I think it's so cute, but I would not recommend it. No matter what you do, you can't get it to match up, and also, it also doesn't stick the greatest it was very cheap off of Amazon so we'll eventually replace that probably but for now it looks fine but I just love all the little touches TJ did like most of the baseboards are uh, most of the what, what would you call them on the wall not baseboards what do you mean trim 
trim? Yeah, that's trim. Okay. Like, that yeah. is trim. Yeah, so like the trim going the trim going down the walls is white, but he added like this one just to be stained along with that one. He's just so creative. Like I just wouldn't even thought of that. This runner, I really love this runner. I love the print of it. This I also got TJ Maxx for like 15 bucks, so steal by me. One. Okay. And then come over to the living room area. Funny. Good. Funny, this is actually our old couch that was in our actual living room and it fits perfectly in here. We were going we were going to recover the one that was originally in here, but we didn't have time, so we're like, we'll just, yeah. And, it, and the, the one that's originally in here was a pullout, so maybe we will eventually if we need more like sleeping space. But this one just fits so perfectly and it's just gonna stay for now. And also it just makes it look more modern in here, I feel like, which I love. And then also these throws. This one I thrifted and this one's from TJ Maxx, if you're curious. And my favorite decor piece in this place. Really? She's talking about something. Yeah, she's explaining. Oh, yeah. what are you trying to do? Trying to lift it open. Oh. Girl, you're just, you're, it's not going to happen. All right. Okay. So my all time favorite decor piece has to be this beautiful print from Mapiful. This is actually the date of our wedding. And these are what the stars were doing while we were getting married. Isn't that so special? Like they reached out and um, wanted to send us this and I just think it was so sweet and I'm, I am so impressed with it. There's like so many beautiful options you can do. You can do like these are the stars but you can also do like maps of like actual places. They have a lot of different options for framing. I went with the hanger framing and this one's in black because I kind of was going for a white and black theme in here and I think it just works perfectly. It looks so modern and beautiful and it just like is something that means something to us which just makes it, it does. so much <laughs> but it just makes it all the more special it's just like this little little touch of us in here i just love it and i just think it's still light it's very light actually so <laughs> what are you doing got the dirty one oh, I don't know. yeah yes you guys definitely need to check out mapiful if you have not because it's beautiful and they are so such a nice company, so I'll link everything down below if you guys want to check them out. But thanks to Mapiful for sending us this. We are literally in love with it, and it's just going to come with us everywhere we go now. <laughs> so this is the area of the camper that has not been touched yet. This will uh, well... We framed it. It's framed. It's framed, but it's... that's it. And it has a door. And I have a door to cover it. Yeah. This door will eventually be painted white and it'll have black hardware, but you know, and we'll also get walls and stuff. That'll be nice. But this will be the bathroom. Do you want to show what it looks like inside? Yeah. It just has a bunch of storage right now. Yeah. Just, just a bunch keep of some of the stuff, campers. leftover materials and like fire extinguisher and you know, a few things like vacuum and, yeah. but the shower will be up against the wall um, there <clears throat> like it was originally. It's just less space for a shower. So it's a lot smaller um, and then the toilet will be right there and then the sink will be right here to wash your hands yeah so this is the bathroom this is the realness but we still have lots so to do so now moving over to the bedroom this is our master suite we do have curtains that are privacy curtains. privacy curtains these are just old ones that i had from our last house so <laughs> I just like folded it to make it like work with the ground, but we'll eventually need to get some that actually fit. These 
we need to lay these out better but yeah we were in a hurry when we put them up so they're a little curvy they work great they're yeah phenomenal. they do but you they can really definitely do. see the curves well and they say in the description on amazon to lay them flat for a while before you put them I up just in say the... 24 hours yeah we did not we, like put it up the day we left so yes yeah, so that's okay they'll eventually straighten out right sure sure <laughs> so now to this area this is like i love this I just think this looks so peaceful. I don't know. We still have plans oh, no. for this lot. Dad. Thank you. Wow, that was hard work. But here's the bed and it does, I'm not gonna try to lift it. Do you wanna try to lift yeah, it? Yeah, I can lift it. It's pretty heavy. Okay, I'll let TJ lift it. Okay. So we'll have storage underneath all this. I built this framing. Yeah. Um, I bought some lift shocks for it they weren't durable enough so no. they weren't a poundage enough for it um so i've got some in the cart um we can link them down below so that you can make your own if you wanted uh to lift the bed up and hold it there so we wouldn't have to hold it per se um, so i bought 40 pounds 44 pound shocks but you need like 100 pound shocks so oh well live in line <laughs> Some things that we are wanting to do over here is add more storage. That's really the main thing besides the bathroom and the kitchen that we need to do. So TJ will eventually build us some bedside tables. Built-ins. Built-ins. Basically. And we're trying to debate if we want to do some shelving like above the bed or just leave it. I don't know yet. TJ doesn't yeah. want to. I kind of want to just because I do want more storage. I want an area to like, I mean, we do have under the bed, but I don't know. Really? You're making a mess. That's really cool. As I didn't say before, this bedding was from TJ Maxx. Both pillows were also from TJ Maxx. And then this actually was in my FabFitFun box, so I'm not really sure where it's from, but it's like the softest thing ever. I want to sit. Oh, you lost your shoe. Oh, no. You lost your shoe. A shoe. 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 Car. Car. Ooh, did you poop? Well, I can smell it. That was actually mommy. <laughs> Whatever. Mommy poop. Stinky poopy. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> You're Hi. Hi. Well, thank you guys so much for yeah. watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this series. Hey. We have definitely Hi. been enjoying Hi. making Hi. it for you guys. It's not done. It's definitely not done, but this is, we're going to take a little bit of a break. Hey. And we're just, it's about to get crazy, especially the holiday season coming up and basketball. Like, we just have a lot going on. So, but that's okay. We have had so much fun, and we're going to pick right back up where we left off in a few months. But... Bye -bye. Can you say bye? Say bye, -bye. bye bye. Bye. Say bye bye. See, see you next time. Aww. Aww so sweet. Kisses. Aww. Okay, now go with this. Go. Say, see you later, guys. And pew. Missing some